if you're unhappy for your voice and for your voice or your chat, your appearance in the chat to be um, not to be recorded, please leave now. If someone thinks you're somewhere else and you need to go, we will understand. But this session is being recorded. Um, I am thrilled today to be introducing Graham Stanley. Um, he, Graham is a t well known to you all, I'm sure. He's a teacher, a social media consultant. He's based in Barcelona in Spain. Um, and he doesn't know this, but I actually visited his site, digitalplay.info, the other day. Well, sometime, and I meant to spend 20 to 25 minutes there. Those were my instructions, just research for 20 to 25 minutes. Six hours later, I left full of ideas and inspiration. So I'm thrilled and I'm going to go straight over to Graham so he can tell you today, um, tell us more about digital play and ELT. Thank you. Thank you very much, Vicky. Uh, that's uh, quite something, six hours instead of 20 minutes. Well, I hope you got lots of ideas. Um, okay, as Vicky said, I'm a teacher uh, based in Barcelona in Spain. I work at the British Council Young Learner Centre and um, I teach or have taught uh, a variety of children mainly from uh, six years until 18. And some years ago with a colleague of mine, Kyle Moore, um, we started experimenting in the teaching centre, playing games um, with the students in the computer room. And we started sharing ideas. That became a blog, Digital Play, that Vicky uh, went to visit, uh, digitalplay.info uh, slash blog. And then uh, eventually it turned into this book, Digital Play, which is published by Delta uh, Teacher Development. Uh, and uh, I'm happy to say that we've just been shortlisted for an Elton's, a British Council um, ELT Innovation Award, which is quite exciting. And I never thought uh, when we were back about six, seven years ago playing with games with the students that this moment would come. So it's quite an exciting moment for me, really. 